Bears fans saw and the Denver Denver Broncos <laughs> fans <laughs> saw. They say when things are going well, you don't see it. But when things aren't going well, the, his body language is, is 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 really really evident. So you know the Miami Dolphin fans, things aren't going well. They watch they watch that body body language and they re- respond accordingly. Yeah. Mm. Now, I'm gonna disagree with Discount Odell. Oh, I mean Jarvis Landry. You know he they call oh, him, he's it, Discount Odell. Oh yeah, my bad, my bad. Skip. I said I, I said that out loud. Boy, that's a shot. Oh my bad. Jarvis. I, I think he's every bit of Odell. No, you better stop playing. Stop playing. Uh, come on. They're saying we want more. Yeah. We want more on this offense. How bad would he look? Because that was one of the reasons they signed him. Hmm. Skip, Jay Cutler, is, he is what he is. You still got the hookup from at Vanderbilt, right? Mm. I'm not talking about Vanderbilt. I'm talking about Jay Cutler. Vanderbilt, I look. Vanderbilt, Commodores, right on me. Right here. You got no hookup from me. At come on, Skip. Come None. on. Come on, Skip. Yeah, you just disqualified that hookup. You and I. Everything bo- you just said. <laughs> skip. Yeah, but all I'm saying is when things are going good for Cutler, things are good, yeah. you know. Which is not very often. Yeah, but but when when they are going good, you don't see it. Okay, so he could go out th- this week and they're playing Atlanta. He could And he could end up getting a bunch of completions, you know, a bunch of completions. But at the end of the day, when things go bad, as you, when you're the quarterback, if you show you show that it. on your face and show that by your body language, your team's going to react mm-hmm. accordingly. It's why Adam Gaze yells at him when he's coming off the field after a bad play. Head up, head up, just keep your head up. And with those yeah. those okay. stats keep on going so down. He, here's <laughs> why I agree with what Jarvis Landry said, and I appreciate the fact because that was a pretty bold statement he made because he took on his whole fandom and he said they just want to be on Twitter or to start a damn chant to quote him. It, it makes me sick and tired to hear Jay Cutler bash the way he's bashed because people talk about him like he's a dog or a bust. And I did go to Vanderbilt, and he went to Vanderbilt, but this is not just about that. It's about the fact that he was the SEC Offensive Player of the Year, and your man, Mike Shanahan, who was a great teacher of the quarterback yeah. and, a, and a, uh, a man who could see, who could play quarterback, yeah. he traded up to get him with yeah. the 11th overall pick. Yeah. And Jay Cutler made a Pro Bowl in Denver, yes, and he, he got a Bears team to the yeah. NFC Championship game off an 11-5 and five year, and he now ranks 34th all-time in touchdown passes. Well, that, that's not a bust because look at the guys he's ahead of in touchdown passes. Kurt Warner and Phil Simms and Joe Namath and Troy Aikman and Joe Theismann and Roger Staubach. He's thrown more touchdown passes than all those guys. Which one is Cutler better than on that list? Okay, but, but again, he, has he won big? He's 70 and 73 as a starting quarterback. Is that good? It's not, it's not terrible. I mean, I can show you a lot worse, and I still say he's better than Ryan Tannehill because I never liked Ryan, Ryan Tannehill. He's done more than Ryan Tannehill will be able to do. I think it's good when a player Stand, st- sticks up for their teammate. Yes. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Let's let's not. I think it's a good thing when a player comes out and 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 kind of puts takes the heat off the quarterback yeah. and puts it on themselves. Mm-hmm. Kind of. I'll take the heat instead of you putting it on him and stands up for him. I think that's a good thing. I think I don't I don't think anyone on the team would disregard yeah. that. But at the end of the day, it still comes down to how you play. Yeah. Okay. And that's I, the thing, though, Skip. Did, did you hear what Jarvis Landry said? Yeah. He works his tail off. Yes, yeah. he does. In what, practice, what, what they play, see what, that. What, at the end of the day, working his, a lot of guys work their tails off. Some guys just Some can't Some quarterbacks don't. But here's the thing, though, Skip. There have been times when I was in Denver, and our offense wasn't always good or we wasn't always mm-hmm. playing good. And we were running onto the field, and uh, one of the players was like, man, you hear the crowd booing? Mm-hmm. I'm saying to myself, that ain't the crowd. That's me. I'm booing you, sorry. You, you know what's also. Booing is not the problem. Fans, if you see something you don't like, I got no problem with you booing because you've earned that right to boo. Mm-hmm. Jay Cutler is not getting it done, Skip. What they thought they were going to get. But remember, they're, two, they're not 0-4. They're 2-2, two and two, and they beat a good defense that the Chargers have and a good defense that Tennessee have. By hook or crook, they did it. They're 2-2. But two and how two. has he looked? Well, he had a good game against the Chargers because he went 24 out of 33. That's pretty good with a touchdown and no interceptions. That's a pretty big, like you said, every once in a while he'll he'll have a Jay Cutler game where you'll say, but nobody wants to talk about it. Oh. But, no, no, you have to talk about it. It's part of the conversation. Yeah. yeah. I think the I, I've only my only my only negative, and I, I stressed my my only one. I don't know Jay Cutler. I've never spoken to Jay Cutler, so I can't. Per, with some quarterbacks I've spoken to, I kind of get a feel for. All I know is I've watched games and watch watch on TV, and when things aren't going well, 
I mean, it's like 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 he just lost his best friend. Well, no. yeah, and plus, I mean, it's their home opener, <laughs> and you already lost the fans. But I will say though, Matt Moore is beloved in Miami. Mm -hmm. You, yeah, you yeah. talk about the yeah. backup quarterback yeah. being the best position. Beloved. Anytime, yeah. really any, anything goes wrong with anyone mm -hmm. that's playing quarterback, they start yelling for Matt Moore. And Matt Moore is a great backup quarterback, mm -hmm. but that was just that was bound to happen at some yeah. point this season. Charlie, thanks for Actually, the best job really is the third quarterback. Because <laughs> mm. no one's really, ever calling then, for then you. Then you really don't have to worry about playing. <laughs> right. Well, the Yankees upset the Astros. We'll discuss that next.